In this video, I will show you how to use the Simulia Material Definition app to create a core material. You will notice that I often edit the default names generated by 3D Experience. This is not required. However, providing meaningful and descriptive names is highly recommended. Remember, our material will be stored in the active collaborative space. If you want to share this material with others, either use a public collaborative space, or provide access to those you want to share the material with. I access the Material Definition app using the Compass. Notice that I have stored the app as one of my favorites. When I launch the Material Definition app, 3D Experience automatically creates a new material. I start by editing the properties of this newly created material and define a more descriptive name. Next, I edit the material definition and enter the density for the material. Now I can add a new domain. I will create a simulation domain. I again edit the title and provide a more descriptive name. I can now edit the simulation domain and start defining the parameters required to perform a simulation. I am defining linear elastic material behavior. I like to leave the default label in the title to remind myself that, for this material, this will be the default response. Next, I toggle on the density option. You should not enter a density, but rather toggle on the option to use the core material density. I need to expand the mechanical option and then expand the elasticity option. Then, I can toggle on the elastic option. Next, I enter the elastic modulus. Notice, I enter the modulus using the unit specified in my reference document, and 3D Experience automatically converts to my preferred units. I also enter the value for Poisson's ratio, and click OK. I have completed defining the simulation domain for this material. There are three other domains which may be associated with the material. However, none of these other domains are required to perform physics simulations.